Oh, we're getting right into it. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> Vivi versus Sinchi. Uh, this is in loser semis. Um, not loser semis. Losers top six. Um, and we're seeing Lucario versus um, Pac-Man. Now, Pac-Man is a character that historically has had trouble killing, but in this game specifically has the ability to kill incredibly early with those bell confirms. However, outside of that, Lucario can live a very long time against this character. Uh, with that said... What um, are these la What are these uppins? Juggles! <laughs> what is happening? Is this Mario? Oh! <laughs> what was that stock? I have not seen Pac-Man do that. That was the most aggro advantage state that I've ever seen a Pac-Man do. That's the most aggro advantage <laughs> that I've ever seen from Sinji. Yeah. Why? What were those resets on um, the platforms? This is looking rough. Um, uh, yeah, and, and I mentioned this... Oh, my gosh. I mentioned this earlier um, that despite the fact that we think of Lucario as this comeback character, uh, if you take Lucario's stock early enough, um, you kind of mitigate that completely because you are still at a low percent yeah. and Lucario still has trouble killing you. So you kind of put yourself in an incredible situation by killing Lucario early on um, in the, the stock without taking a whole lot of damage. Sinji almost had that. Sinji was looking for that jab into the bell. The angle was just right, but the bell disappeared at just the last possible second. Still able to cover the goal. Does not find that finishing hit, but uh, you know, it's still going to be able to set up a high June in the meantime. And again, this is Sinji with a stock lead, sitting under the platform comfortably, wow. always making you be the first one to approach. And we, we've seen so far one scary aura here coming out. Spooky times. Um, However, Sinji still has that percent lead, and we're getting to the point where we're back here, where any bell confirm. Actually, opting for key here yeah. will take the stock from Lucario. Throws the key, gets back on the stage, uh, forces Sinji. Ooh, the last hit of that Pac-Man grab grabs. Yeah, not even Vivi was just like not expecting to be hit by that in the moment. Yeah, now right. that is Lucario with Bell. There is no safe space, but Sinji rolls in and is able to escape all of that pressure. Oh the God. one option that Vivi was just not covering, and down angled Apple. That apple ended up saving Sinji there, throwing it out just in time to eat up that aura sphere, re-caught it, and then took a whole uh, stock away from Vivi, and that's gonna be just enough. That counter uh, down two yeah. stocks, that aura being just enough to kill Sinji despite the low percent on Lucario. And look at these Galaxian conversions, oh! 82, 97 percent, 104, and climbing. Why does Pac-Man have that kind of a damage output? But uh, I would be able to tell you, but Sinji is clean with it. Yeah, and right now, gonna, looking at the moment like, uh, Vivi might have to go back to the drawing book on this game number one. Um, really, since he's looked incredibly dominant uh, since dropping into losers, and this has been a tough situation for uh, Vivi. However, now we are in a, in a place where Vivi has 133%. Since he's already at 77. Anytime he chooses, he, Vivi can take this stock, but that situation only worsens as time goes on. Um, there's a lot of really like time-sensitive ledge trappers. When Pac-Man's setting his stuff up, you, you timing mix-ups might not always be an option. Yeah, you really do have to wait there. And what was great about that ledge pressure is that Shinji was also pressuring Vivi by recovering low, forcing him to get off of ledge somehow, some way. That's it. Oh. Oh. I thought it was it too, but no, Vivi doesn't actually uh, go with the full projectile there. 190% just about anything could take Vivi's stock. Tries to go for the recovery mix up, able to bounce up oh. Sinji's shield so safely, and the back through is going to be able to take it. Yo. And folks, we are at absolute max aura. 190 is as high as it can get. I mean, we've seen Vivi do it. We've this like, is very possible. We, we've seen Vivi do everything, but not this one quite yet. Yeah, Apple, I mean, Apple kills, yeah, like yeah. 120, 130 plus like that, so Vivi was more like, but every time I see Vivi play, like, there was never that idea in my head, like, oh, the, the other person's got this game. You're yeah. not safe playing Vivi. We have seen Vivi in, in countless comebacks where he's just able to take stocks at 30. This yeah. is death percent. Yeah. 28 is death. You, you get hit by a back air relentless, that's it. You're dead. With that said, um, Sinji doing an excellent job of yeah. calling out jumps that game consistently was doing that. It's that time does Apple it with the, from Apple. the platform. Yeah. Apple from the platform has been able to get two of those stocks just in that game one. So uh, Vivi is going to have to be a little bit more careful about some of the options that he's picking when Sinji is sitting on that other platform. Just has to be a little bit more mindful of it. 
And we've seen so far, I think Vivi has opted to stay center stage, stay in that block a little bit more, using that Aura Sphere, uh, putting himself in positions where uh, Sinji is certainly not easily able to reach Lucario. One thing that Lucario certainly does have over Pac-Man is that mobility. Lucario, faster on the floor, faster in the air than Pac-Man. Look at these conversions Ooh. from Sinji. When yeah. did he get these? Yeah, and I, Apple, Apple is a sneaky fruit. Apple is one of those fruit that actually does have a lot of combo potential, but really not overutilized because of how good Glacian is. Sinji, though, yeah. on top of it. Oh, and Sinji going to be setting up that tech chase onto the platform. Tries to cover the tech roll in with that up tilt. Is not going to be able to find it and just immediately goes through the quickest option there. And we've seen already uh, with Hydrant being out, Vivi has started to utilize, as you mentioned before, that active hitbox of Hydrant to counter. We saw that one before. I can only imagine we'll be starting seeing that more often in general mm -hmm. um, in this matchup. Well, I really like the way that Sinji's just using Hydrogen Fruit, like a lot of coverage, especially against Aura Sphere. Sinji is throwing that down and is just able to sit safely under the platform and keeping the head really safe. So, Vivi's just looking for a way to land to get themselves like a bit of stage again, but, ooh. That's such a scary situation. Lucario does have some of the scariest ledge ups in the game. That Aura Sphere, especially when at max Aura, covers a whole lot. Once again, that counter coming out. Yeah, Hydrogen has an active hitbox. How much does it do? Nothing, but it's the game still treats it as such. So you can you can get in there and you can counter it and can catch an unsuspecting Pac-Man. But since you're gonna get that F smash, uh, finds that stock. I, I like this patience from Vivi. You need to respect Galaxian. Yeah, Sinji looking for that shield drop and Vivi not biting. However, tough situation. Pac-Man with that. Uh, Trampoline there certainly cuts off a lot of options. Mm -hmm. Vivi somehow gets around it, still gets back to stage, and Sinji now trying to extend this lead by staying in that corner. He's done an excellent job getting out of the corners thus far in this game number two. And again, these Galaxian conversions, Sinji is so comfortable in them. Sinji just has them all labbed out. That counter is going to be able to close it out. So now Vivi going to be looking for a grab, going to be looking for a big oil for a falling neutral. Those are all those big low percent combo starters. The, hmm. Oh, okay. I like the idea there. I think uh, Sinji was looking for uh, the water to hit the bell there, looking for a setup. Um, however, Vivi, aware that that setup may have been coming, and just instantly threw out the Aura Sphere, making sure nothing uh, could threaten him in that situation. Vivi, once again, getting closer and closer to that max wow. aura. I really like a lot of Sinji's utiliz utilization of up tilt because he's able to position himself, he covers the ground, and then is also able to cover the space immediately above him. He's so comfortable in its spacing, he knows how to be able to convert it off of it really well. That's Vivi with bell in hand. Wow, and that, that um, dash tag so, um, not I want to say safe, because it's not like mm -hmm. actually plus on block, but um, it is relatively safe, and being that Lucario does not have great out of shield, had bell in hand there, maybe with a Z drop could have gotten the confirm. Um, but Sinji does that instant up B, frame three up B there, and gets out of the situation. Sin uh, Vivi's landing mix-ups are so good. He's just trying to make himself as tricky as possible, maneuvering himself with a lot of big reverses. Um, and as a result, Sinji is having a tough time finding that big closing hit. Recovering high is going to give Vivi that opening that he needs to be able to get back onto center stage. But now, as Vivi, how do you get this big hit? How do you get this next one? And I want to just point out, you saw the adaptation there. Vivi has now started to hold shield. Oh my god, that ate that fruit. But um, Sinji has now started to hold shield when maintaining center stage, not allowing Sinji to get those apples that he was getting earlier. Yeah, Vivi is just doing a really good job of sort of um, pressuring Sinji and getting closer and closer every time he does go for the bonus fruit. It's not, it, it's just, Vivi's not giving him the chance to be able to find what he needs. A lot of shield pressure there. And Aura Sphere at max charge has started to become transcendent. It's starting to eat up these fruits. It's starting to be a, uh, something that really, uh, unless it hits a hurt box, is not going to be stopped. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's see if Vivi can manage to get one of those out. Ooh, a great bounce for wow. Sinji, but Hydrant at 200%. That's going to be taking it just enough. You know, Sinji once again just sitting comfortably. That's Galaxian at ledge. Every single time that you see a Pac Man holding Galaxian, I will say this time and time again. Dude, just let him back. Just let him back. Just whole block, let him back. Oh, you know. block, let him back. It's not worth it. He can yeah. deal 70, he can deal 50 yeah. uh, at the very least. It's it's not worth it. You're going to get schmixed. You're going to end up in his combo video. Just don't do it. You're not that guy. <laughs> Ooh, right now, Vivi, trying to maybe catch a jump, trying oh, to gosh. condition a neutral getup, is not going to be able to find it. And we've seen uh, in the past, Vivi has kind of relied on some of those smash attacks to take stocks when he does not have a lot of aura. However, right now, um, 
He can't, Ooh, he, he can't find any of those big hits, but the oil is feeling just big enough to be able to hit under the ledge. And now VV is back in it, only 69% to his name. Sinji go... That did, that did how much? Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Damage. That did like, what, 50, 60? That's Galaxian combos for you. We're I here. did a little bit more than I thought it should, but that, but yeah, but but, but that's okay. <sighs> Again, Ooh, back air. 43. Yeah, that move is like 30 percent <gasps> with aura. <laughs> oh my! Again, this is still anybody's game right now. All VV needs is to catch one goal and to catch one dash and to catch Sinji landing with a hitbox once, and that's going to be a dash back F smash, a dash back side B every single time. But the way that Sinji is playing right now, he's going for a lot of jump down B to lock VV into shield, and then he immediately retreats, and he's keeping himself so safe as a result. And I, what, one worry that I... Oh, you oh. jumped into it? Living, though. Okay. Almost getting it oh, by Strawberry. It. Yeah. And ends up getting pineappled, and it wasn't even by Pac-Man's own food. And that's going to be Sinji taking a 2-0 over Vivi. Back to stage. Um, and we are back. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah, that's going to be Sinji over Vivi. Moving on into loser semis against Texas native Blue Striker. Wow.